So this is another video that I probably should have done already, but things just piled up, so he got pushed to the wayside, which is unfortunate because I have really been looking forward to getting this particular figure out of the box. It is yet another Dragon Ball Z figure arts from Bandai Chimashi Nations. We have got the Super Saiyan 3 Goku figure, so this is the new and improved figure. Uh, I've never had this particular figure. I've never had the, the original. It was before my time with DBZ Figure Arts, so I am pretty eager to see what he has in store. So let's pull this guy out and take a look. All right, guys, so here is our Super Saiyan 3 Goku out of the box. And uh, at first glance, my first thoughts is that I pretty much like him. He has a couple issues. Uh, one thing that I pretty much expected to get from the, from the outset of this guy is just the issue with the hair. It's a big hunk of plastic. I mean, look at that thing. It's 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 huge. It's massive, and it's not hollow. It's a it's a solid piece of plastic. So it's it obviously is going to add some weight to his head. He kind of wants to fall backwards, so you have to pose him accordingly. See, he just wants to go right back over. Uh, you can get around that. Just get creative with your poses. He does come with a stand to assist in that regard as well. But I try not to use stands for just you know stability purposes unless the pose actually dictates it. So uh, let's do articulation real quick. Get that out of the way. It's standard figure art stuff. You're not going to be uh, surprised or impressed here. So head can look down, head can look up, side to side. We do have the added neck joint as well. The hair will, of course, eventually get in the way. Arms can go out about that far. It's not perfect. It's not great. Uh, just the overall sculpt is going to get in the way. We got bicep cut. Arm can go all the way around. Standard figure arts double jointed elbow. Plenty of movement there. And then we got standard figure arts uh, ball hinge at the wrist with plenty of movement there as well. We do have a uh, crunch at the abdomen. Not a whole lot forward. A little bit backwards. We do have rotation at the waist. Legs can go out about that far. So that's pretty good. Pretty high kick forward. All the way back, we do have a thigh cut. Double joint at the knee. Not too terribly ugly, but it's not perfect either. It's just the way it is with these uh, pant designs. And then we have a rotation, and we have a hinge at the ankle, but there's not really a great deal of up and down there, as you can see. And then there's not really much of a rocker. A little bit, but not a lot. Just some. Maybe enough, just depends on your pose. And then we do have the standard toe articulation as well. Now, as far as paint and sculpt and, you know, that whole department, he doesn't really have a lot of paint on him. And this is this is one of those figures that came from the we have run out of paint to shade things era of uh, DBZ figure arts. So he is, I think he's the last one that has this problem as far as recent memory goes. Um, so all the skin tones are pretty much just molded plastic. The blues are molded plastic. We do have some paint on the chest, obviously, there. He's got the pea stain paint job going, because there's no real shading on the pants either. We do have paint on the boots, obviously, and you can't get around those. They have to do that. Uh, the hair, for the most part, is mostly unpainted as well. It's kind of got a metallic sheen over it, but the, the, uh, the bangs, I guess is what they should be, do have a metallic spray over them with a little hint of orange right at the base of the hairline. Uh, to kind of give off kind of like a fiery effect almost. The face paint is pretty good. The teeth look look fine. The eyes look fine, nice and white. And then the blue eyes look good as well. There's just not a whole lot going on in terms of uh, paint with this guy. He, he just doesn't really have a whole lot similar to other figures that we have seen recently, as I mentioned. Uh, as far as the sculpt on him goes, I think he looks pretty good. I don't really have any issues with him. I like just about everything about this body for me personally. It hits all the right notes. It very much looks like Goku. I really dig the face. Sculpted really well with the with those additional paint accents. Helped to bring out the kind of cocky look that this particular version of Goku has. And then, of course, uh, despite its instability issues, that hair is just wild. I think it looks really cool. Um, always been a big fan of this particular version of Super Saiyan. So I had to get this guy. And the, the sculpt on that hair, as ridiculous as it is, uh, it does not disappoint. Now, as far as accessories goes, I'm going to start with the one thing that he's had on the figure the entire time, and that is the halo. So this would be the effect piece that he comes with, and obviously you can see it there. It pegs into a little hole in between these two 
hair wedges or whatever you want to call them. Uh, you can just pop it out and it's got a little bit of a frosted look to it. Nothing too crazy in terms of the paint department. Uh, but if you don't want it, uh, unless you're looking right at that uh, little section of hair, you can't even tell that it's not there. It just looks like it, it was never there to begin with. And then uh, if you want to put it back in, it just, if you find it, pop it right back in and you're good to go. So I am definitely a, uh, a fan of that. I'm glad they included that little little extra for this particular version of Goku. Now, in addition, of course, this is a figure arts piece, so we do have extra heads and extra hands. As you can see, the one that he comes with uh, straight out of the box is just kind of a smirking, cocky look to his face, and he comes with the two closed fists. As far as the other heads, we do have three other faces. They're just swappable faces. We've got one where he is gritting his teeth, one where he is screaming, and then the one that I'll probably be using, I think it's the most iconic for this look, is the one where he's looking to the side. That's the one that he does like right after he does this transformation for the first time. Uh, as far as extra hands go, we have a total of 11 extra hands. We've got a set of style pose uh, hands. We've got a set of open but gripping hands, kind of like a charge up blast. We have uh, two hands for his instant transmission, we have two chopping style hands, and then we have two open palm uh, blast effect style hands despite the fact he doesn't come with a blast effect. And the last thing he comes with is a stand. This is just for stability purposes. Uh, it's your standard Tamashi Nations figure art stand. Um, yeah, if you've seen one, you've seen them all. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this guy. He he is obviously lacking in the paint department, but I think the sculpt is spot on. Uh, I love the hair for this character. It makes him over the top in a cool way, but also in a ridiculous way. And it translates to figure form pretty well. This is clearly a better interpretation of this figure than the original uh, figure arts release that came out years back. I love the extra heads. I love the extra hands. It's a figure arts. They didn't screw it up. I was bound to like it. The only real negative for this guy is that he doesn't include a blast effect, which I think uh, is, you know, pretty much a thing we see often with figure arts these days. I just wish it would stop happening because I love getting blast effects with these guys and I don't have enough uh, to go around for everybody in my display. But beyond that, I think he's a winner. If you're a fan of the character or DBZ in general, I'd say you should pick him up. So that is going to do it for this look at the Super Saiyan 3 Goku figure from Bandai Tamashi Nations. Uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, guys.